Unconventional Business and Parenting Strategies. Hey ladies, I'm back and today I had a little aha moment and sometimes I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I've been told that that's exactly what you need to do in order for people to hear you. And I often think think about things that I've been learning or trying to work through and master. And you need to hear things many, many times and sometimes from different people in order to let it click. So today while I was on my way home from the gym, I had this aha moment and I'm going to back up a little bit to this morning. So this year, I really decided to take on um, my nutrition and my fitness. Um, I've, I don't know, I've been a, a fitness dabbler maybe in previous years. I've always been like interested in it, but I wasn't committed to it. And the second that something felt really good or it was uncomfortable, I would just be like, oh, I can have a break. I deserve to have a break. So at the beginning of the year, I was like tackling the fitness really, really hard and it wasn't feeling good and it wasn't serving me. And then my mindset shifted to, you know, one degree better, one degree better every day. And that will keep the doctor away, which is very tacky, but I'm just saying that right now because it came out of my mouth. And nutrition was the same. I'm not on a diet. I will never say I'm on a diet. I'm not on a lifestyle plan. I'm just trying to eat as clean as possible. Um, And that's just my journey right now. Who knows where it will take me? But the point is, internally, I'm trying to take the pressure off myself to be perfect or to make it a certain way because, you know, I'm sure you've dealt with this too, but you have a plan and then when you quote unquote fail or don't follow through, you scrap the plan and you're like, I'm going to start again Monday. So my goal is to never give up, but to just show up consistently with no pressure on myself, but push myself a little bit, make myself uncomfortable. So this morning, it was scheduled, I was scheduled to go to the gym at 8 a.m., get up with the kids previously, do my morning routine, get them settled, go to the gym, come home, do a little work, hang out with the kids and the family. So 8 a.m. rolls around, I have to leave my house around 7.30 to get there and just get settled and all of that. And around 7 o'clock, I'm like, I don't need to go to the gym today. I had to work through this mental talk, right? The filter. The thoughts have this negative default where it's always going to convince you of why you can't do something. Like that's the job of your thoughts. And I was like, Heather, there's no reason why you can't go today. You just don't want to. And I was focused on how I felt. I'm like, I feel really good today. I could skip a day. I can go tomorrow. I'm like, but you're going to regret it. And then something shifted in my brain and it went to, you're not doing this for fitness. You're going to the gym today as part of your business strategy and part of your parenting strategy. And as soon as I did this, or as soon as I thought of it that way, and I shifted my mindset into, if I don't go to the gym today, Is it going, or now at eight o'clock, is it going to affect my parenting and my business? And the answer was 110%. Now, because I'm no longer living in the state of survival and I'm in a, a momentum and thrival state in many aspects of my life, I understand the value. I understand the value of consistency. So if I didn't go to the gym today, if I didn't go to the gym for a week, I would be fine. I would, I would be a little uncomfortable physically. I would start to be able to feel it, but I wouldn't be losing my mind because I've kind of built up this reserve and consistency. So I knew that in order to keep climbing, to keep getting better, to improve myself daily one degree better, I couldn't miss today. So I went to the gym and while I was at the, at the gym, one of the exercises was like 
really intense. And cardio for me is not my favorite. And guess what? I didn't kill myself while I was doing it. The object of the game, of the workout, was, um, in this case, was to um, go as fast as you can for 30 seconds. And I decided not to go as fast as I can. I decided to put in 60, 70% effort and to show up and to do the work. And I was okay with it. And the whole point of why I'm telling you this conversation is because going to the gym today is part of my business strategy and my parenting strategy. It has nothing to do with my personal fitness. It is literally my personal fitness is a side effect of this strategy. And I say this because so many of you say, I don't have time for fitness. I don't have time for nutrition. I don't have time to journal. I don't have time to meditate. I don't have whatever. But realize all of these things that you don't have time for are part of your current lifestyle and mindset, which is most likely a lack mindset if you're not living in alignment with how you want to feel. So if you're one of those people and you're finding yourself not living in alignment with how you want to feel and you just think, I can't, ha- I don't even know how to create space for what I want in my life. Think of it this way. If the thing that you're resisting doing was part of your business strategy to make more money, make a bigger impact, save more, help other women, help other people, or part of working out nutrition and all of the things that you're resisting is part of your um, parenting strategy so that you can be more present with your kids, so you'll stop yelling, so that you will feel more in control, would you then create space for it? Think about it. 